Hey guys, welcome to the first of what will hopefully be many videos that I will be doing on Forex trading. Today's video is going to be finding a repainting indicator using software FX on MT4. Here's a little snippet of what everything is basically going to look like. We're going to be holding down the enter key. Um, it's going to be going through previous tick data and you can actually watch an indicator repaint or not repaint in real time. So let's get started. Here are the things that we're going to cover. What is a repainting indicator, number one? Number two, free software that makes this process super fast to do and extremely accurate. Number three, spotting an easy repainter. We'll be using FX Fish for this. Number four, spotting a difficult repainter. We'll be using the Mega Trend indicator. And finally, number five, if you don't want to use software FX or any additional software, we will go over using the M1 timeframe to easily spot repainting. I don't really like this way because it's a lot of just waiting and staring, waiting and staring. I get bored a little bit too easily for that. All right, so a repainting indicator can be any indicator that changes its signal or data after the candle has fully closed. They can be difficult to spot, so always forward test before you live trade with that indicator. If you get amazing back testing results that seem like the holy grail, throw it through one of the steps we're about to show you to see if it's actually true or not. So the software you will need is soft for FX. The demo is free and we do not need the paid version to test for repainting. You will need an MT4 platform. We will be using Awanda for the demo. And finally, just install the indicators that you want to test. For us, we're going to be using FX Fish and the Megatrend indicator. So let's get started finding an easy repainting indicator. So I'm going to open up the virtual machine I use for back testing. Um, I'll get into this in a later video. No need to go over it now. In the MT4 platform, we want to load the software FXEA on any chart. It doesn't matter which one. We are going to go fast on this. So if you don't know about software FX, I suggest watching their videos on how to get started. I'm going to click on the data downloaded just to show you what pair we're going to be using. So let's start a new simulation. None of the settings really need to be changed. And I would say as long as you have a few years of tick data, you'll be good to go for testing. So open up the charts and we're going to select three different time frames. We want to add the daily. We want to add the hourly one and we want to add the M15. The reason why we're doing this is it's going to give us a couple of options in terms of speed as we hold the enter key and move through the data. The only chart we want to open is the daily. That's going to be the main one that's going to be driving this. Okay, now let's do some cleanup and organization. Let's zoom in a little bit, change it to candlestick, Move this up just so we can see a little bit better. And let's grab that FX fish indicator and throw it on the chart. Uh, we're not changing any of the settings. It's just as is. So when you hit the next bar, it's going to start going through the different days um, as if you were watching it day by day in MT4. If you hold down the enter key, it goes really fast. Um, throws a lot of information at the screen at any given point of time. And this is where the H1 and the M15 timeframes come in handy because you can select it, press the enter key and, or press the next bar and then hold enter. And you can see that it's just moving at a much slower pace. So now all we're doing is we're kind of just looking and watching and right there, you can see that it's giving us different signals that weren't there from a few days before. So if we go ahead and slowly kind of tick through, you can see that there's a very, very small buy signal. But that right there is just enough to let you know that this thing is definitely repainting. But let's go in a little bit deeper. We're going to change to the M15, hold the enter key. It's going to go a lot slower. And as we go, let's see what it does. There. You can definitely see that it is giving you strong buy signals when a couple of days ago it definitely was not. So this is probably the easiest way to see that uh, indicator is repainting. Yeah. So now for an example, let's go ahead and throw in the solar winds indicator. This one does not repaint. Um, we're just going to drop it in, not change any of the settings. 
and as you can see it's fairly similar looking to the FX fish and we're just going to switch over to the H1 time frame hold that enter bar and as you can see the previous day candles are staying exactly where they closed at um, there's a little bit of movement going up and down but that's because the bars are bigger than the window that they are actually trying to fill but this is a good example of what is not repainting versus what definitely is repainting. All right, so let's uh, take a look at a more difficult repainter to spot. We're going to be using the megatrend indicator. Let's go ahead and throw it onto this chart here. Um, we're going to change the input period to 21 versus 144. This will make everything a little bit faster, give us a lot more signals to work with, and will be good for the example. This one was a, a little bit tough for me because I back tested it across 28 pairs. I did not see any repainting initially. And as I was forward testing, which is why it's always important to forward test before you throw it into live, um, I was missing signals that it was giving and basically burying um, because they were bad signals. All right, so let's go ahead and change the color to something a little bit more easier to spot. All right, so with this indicator, it's a home moving average that changes colors when it goes up or is going down. There you can see right there that it a, um, it's supposed to be changing color, but it did not. This is a big problem when you're back testing because that would have been a long signal that you would have taken live, but you're not doing it in back testing. So let's bring this guy back a little bit to that area. Bam, there it is. There's your long signal. Um, what you can do is you can kind of move through it day by day, change the time frame so that you can hold the enter key and kind of see it move as if you were watching it in real time. Um, at, that, at the start of this candle, you could see that the previous candle was definitely a buy signal. So if this was your only indicator, you would have been going uh, long on this position. Let's slow it down a little bit more. Um, hold the enter key down for a bit and let's just watch this to see when it goes south going down down and boom there goes red definitely going upward but it is showing you a red signal because there's just huge movement on that candle well not really huge but large enough for it to go down And now with the next candle, uh, definitely a little bit of a crash there, but it is still holding as down and you can see that there is a signal to, there, there should be a signal to go up. But that's what happens with repainting indicators. So here's another example. Um, we're going to have the HMA. It's a little bit more flat. Um, we have a buy signal on that candle, so we're going to hold enter for the next day. And we're going to see that as it goes down, 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 yep, there it is. It is repainting your previous buy signal. And if you were back testing, you wouldn't count that as a loss. So if you don't want to use software FX or download any additional software, you can quick spot a repainter on the M1 time frame using just your eyes and the simple vertical line tool to mark your buy or sell signals. So here we go. We got FX fish, um, the same indicator we were using before. We are going to mark our buy signal. Um, this is all live. So if you're trying to do this on a weekend, you're not going to get any sort of uh, additional information come in you're not going to be able to tell if it's repainting so now that we've marked our buy signal we just got to wait for this candle to close and the next one to open and see what the signal does so there we go that candle closed the next one open and we can see that that uh, buy signal actually disappeared it is still in the sell territory and the next candle shows buy so we can mark that and I mean honestly that's all the proof you need to know that an indicator is repainting so it's best to just toss this one to the side and move along 
All right, everyone, thank you for watching the first of what will hopefully be many videos about Forex trading that I plan to put out. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you have any questions, suggestions, or topics you would want to see covered in a future video, please let me know in the comments section below. See you all next time.